Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Section 4.6, complex numbers, also known as imaginary numbers. All right, so 9 and 10, it says add or subtract. Write the expression in A plus BI form. All right, so this first one is a subtraction. So I'm going to rewrite this problem as negative 3 plus 7i. Now I'm going to distribute that minus sign through. So that's going to become a minus 4, and that's going to become a plus 6i. Again, I distributed that minus sign through. Combining like terms, I've got negative 7 plus 13i. That's it. I'm done. That's all that one required. But watch out for those minus signs. All right, same thing with this one. There's a minus sign there. So I'm going to rewrite negative 5 minus 4i. Distribute, that would be a minus 11, and then a minus 13i. All right, combining like terms, we've got negative 5 and negative 11 make negative 16. And negative 4i and negative 13i makes minus 17i. Voila. All right, number 11. Okay, we're going to go ahead. These are multiplying, so that means we're going to FOIL these. All right, here we go. So the first terms give us 12. The outside terms give us plus 22i. The inside terms give us minus 24i. And then the last terms give us minus 44i squared. Now, don't forget i squared equals negative 1. So this part right here, so I'm going to rewrite, I'm going to combine the middle two here. So I've got 12 minus 2i. Now this is a minus 44 times negative 1 because i squared is negative 1. So technically, that becomes a positive 44. So I've got 12 minus 2i plus 44. So the final answer is 56, because 12 plus 44 is 56, minus 2i. All right, let's do number 12. Now, number 12, you will notice, ladies and gentlemen, that it's 5 minus and a 5 plus 7i. Okay, well, this is a difference of 2 squares. So we can use the a squared minus b squared formula. If not, go ahead and do the whole FOIL, okay? You will end up with the same answer. But if you know this little trick, you can simply do, okay, that would be 5 squared minus 7i squared. So that's 25 minus 49i squared. So again, that would be 25 minus 49, which is times negative 1. So technically, that's 25 plus 49, and that equals 74. All right. Next part. Simplify the expression by eliminating all imaginary numbers from the denominator. Multiply, multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. 
All right, so the conjugate of this problem would be 1 plus 2i. All right, so the top is going to become, I'm going to distribute, so 13i plus 26i squared. All right, the denominator, again, using the, using the little shortcut here, the a squared minus b squared, Okay, so that would be, so 1 times 1 is 1, minus, okay, that would become 4i squared. Okay, but now let's go through and simplify this a little bit further. So this would be 13i plus 26 times negative 1 over 1 minus 4 times negative 1. Okay, so the numerator, if I redo this, I have 13i minus 26. Okay, but I'm going to rewrite this, so I'm going to say negative 26 plus 13i over, and then this becomes 1 plus 4, so that's a 5. All right, number 14. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. So that would be 4 plus 5i. All right, so I'm going to foil the top. So that would be 8 plus 10i minus 12i. minus 15i squared. All right, using the shortcut on the bottom, that would be 16 minus 25i squared. All right, so the numerator, we have 8, combining like terms, minus 2i, minus 15 times the negative 1. On the bottom, I've got 16 minus 25 times negative 1. All right, so now I have 8 minus 2i plus 15, and I have 16 plus 25. So the final answer is 8, nope, back that up because I have to add the 8 to the 15. So 8 plus 15 is 23 minus 2i all over 41. All right, we're going to do some more solving. Okay, so I would imagine these answers are going to have some imaginary numbers in them. All right, so let's get x by itself. So this one we're going to divide by negative 2. So we have x squared equals... Okay, and I'm going to move that, I'm not going to, I, no decimals, no decimals. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this as negative 13 over 2. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, put that plus and minus in front. 
All right, so this is what I have. I have x equals positive or negative square roots of negative 13 over 2. But remember, I cannot leave it that way. Don't forget that the square root of a negative is the letter I. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that negative out. So I'm going to have I. And then I have the square root of 13 over the square root of 2. Okay, I separated them. And if you recall, you cannot leave a square root in the denominator. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to multiply the top by the square root of 2 and the bottom by the square root of 2. So our final result for this problem is going to be positive or negative i square roots of 26 over 2. All right. Number 16. Step 1. Take away 28. So 2x squared equals negative 10. Divide by 2. All right. I'm going to erase my little message over here quick. I need more room. All right, so now I have x squared equals negative 5. Take the square root of both sides. So x equals positive or negative square roots of negative 5. But again, you cannot leave that negative inside, so we pull it out. It becomes the letter i, so positive or negative i square roots of 5. Number 17. Again, do not distribute. That's a big no-no because x plus 7 is being squared. Do not distribute. All right, so the first thing we're going to do for this one is take away 4. All right, then we're going to divide by 3. So x plus 7 squared equals negative 9. Now we can do the square root. So we have plus positive or negative. Now that negative becomes the i, and the 9 is a perfect square. So in this case, nine, the square root of 9 is 3. We write that first, followed by the i. Okay, subtract the 7, and our final answer is negative 7 plus or minus 3i. All right, last one, number 18. So again, do not distribute. We've got to get rid of the negative two-thirds, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which would be negative 3 over 2. So what are we left with? We are left with x minus 1 squared 
equals, okay, 216 times negative 3 over 2. I believe that is negative 324. Square root both sides. So we have x minus 1 equals positive negative square roots of negative 324. All right, now I'm going to add the 1 to both sides, and then I'll simplify. Okay, I'm going to do that first. So I've got x equals 1 plus or minus square roots of negative 324. Now, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, 324 is a perfect square. 18. You may not have had that one memorized. All right, the negative becomes an I. So our final answer is X equals 1 plus or minus. Now remember, the whole number comes first, so 18 I. That is our final answer. All right, very good. That is the end of section 4.6 of the of the review for the second part of chapter 4